Uh, by the way, in these offshore locations like China and India, uh, you know, there's 1.3 billion people in China. There's another billion or so in India. Uh, and there's a lot of smart people. That's a very deep talent pool. They're not just going to decide, well, we'll stick with the chunking it, routinizing it, digitizing it, and automating it. They're going to want to innovate too. So we may have a limited amount of time to get on, get with the program uh, in, in terms of innovation. I think IT has an ability to impact innovation very powerfully by making it much cheaper and much more rapid to try things to repeat not exactly the same thing over and over again, but to try things that are slightly different in a, in a relatively fast, relatively costless way. Um, now, we this is kind of what, say, for example, word processing did for us, right? I mean, we used to have to get out a correction tape or something when we typed a, an incorrect letter with word processing, we just backspace and retype. Uh, all of IT has in part been about allowing us the freedom to sort of cheap, cheaply and rapidly iterate um, and thereby come up with things that are different than what we did last time. Um, what else? Oh, it's, I think this kind of value creation is likely to focus primarily on the revenue side of businesses. And I think a lot of IT people have, uh, uh, they have cost base. So, I mean, the income statement has kind of two columns. It has a revenue side and a cost side. A lot of our IT reflexes are on the cost side. Uh, this is not surprising. We just, in the aftermath of the internet bubble collapsing, we spent a lot of time getting beat up and asked to produce cost reductions, uh, headcount reductions, and so forth. So our emphasis has been on complying with those requests, uh, driving down costs, increasing efficiency. Uh, so in some ways, we've been f working really hard at the stuff that's all, I think, or not all, but a large chunk of which is about to go offshore. So we have to, again, figure out a, a new way. Um, 